I was just working along here, and I'm going to undo these a little bit here, um, on how to, um, on just doing two stranded color work with yarn in both hands. What I wanted to show you in this video is how you would go about trapping a float. If you had several stitches, usually probably more than four or five, but it's up to you, that's kind of personal choice. Um, where you feel the strand coming behind is so long that you're worried that it'll get snagged. You can do what's called a float. So if I work two stitches and then I'm continuing on for a few more, but I'm worried that, okay, when I bring this back up, it's going to be too long. What you can do is you go in with the, uh, your needle and then you lift the color that you want to trap that float of above this needle. Then you knit the next one and then when you slip it off that pops down and you can keep knitting across here and so if we look at the back here what that actually does is it traps that float in the back here and it stops it being a very long strand you do not have to trap a float in fact sometimes people opt to leave them in but if you're worried about the long strands this is one option for ensuring that they are not going to have you know very long stretches where you've got that float sitting on the inside of the work.